Hi, we're Kitty, Daisy and Lewis. We're Skinny Lister and we're here with Rust FM. <laughs> I never really thought about performing or anything, it just naturally happened, you know, there was, we just used to enjoy music, you know. It was kind of like our entertainment at home, just like, all playing music together and jamming. We did have piano lessons at one point, but he gave up on us. <laughs> We're going to be playing a lot of our new songs tonight, but um, yeah, a few of the old ones as well. It's mostly stuff from the second album. And we work, we're currently writing and rehearsing for the third album. So hopefully in a bit those songs will start to come out. She was gonna kiss me. A lot of people go, oh, 50s music, but that's, that's not a style of music. That's just mentioning a decade. Um, but we listen to all kinds of like stuff, you know, from, from like most decades. Oh, the 80s. I think even some people were like slightly shocked by our second album because our first one was like all roots covers and stuff and then on the second album we like added in a few different styles and stuff and some people were like oh stick to stick to what you're good at and stuff like that and it's like well this is just what we do we're not going to stick to playing one thing you know so you never know what's going to happen next <laughs> It's my first day in London. I came from Serbia to visit my friend, and uh, I checked on, on, on Last FM which which bands are playing that are similar to my, my taste. The second one was was this gig, and uh, I just listened to it on YouTube. I really liked it, so we we came. <laughs> it's a cool location, man. Like um, I've been here for a gig before. It's a really cool venue, it's a cool area in general. So I've come from California specifically to see uh, Kitty Daisy and Lewis play. <laughs> Kitty Daisy and Lewis and uh, Skinny Lister, we heard were pretty good, so a pretty fun gig too. Our new album, Forge and Flagon, is out this week. Uh, we recorded the album in uh, deepest, darkest uh, Wales near Snowdonia uh, last winter with a guy called David Wrench, a producer, engineer there. Um, yeah, we just recorded it like as, a, as we play live, basically sat around in a circle and just played the songs yeah, live. <laughs> and ate a lot of bourbon biscuits and uh, hung out with the uh, six-foot <laughs> albino David Wrench. He looks a bit like Gandalf. He's got like long white hair it's right down to here and he's thin as a rake and sits like this over the mixing desk. And he also played a lot of Angry Birds while he was mixing it, so I don't know whether that comes out in the mix. <laughs> the traditional music that we play connects with all sorts of people, really. Yeah, yeah, so we have, we've had a stage invasion of tiny people right the way through to drunken... You mean tiny as in small, <laughs> you mean young girls. <laughs> uh, young, then, sexy girls. Yeah, yeah, so we've had, uh, yeah, the sexy, the most sexy young ladies, <laughs> and then the next gig we'll play to a bunch of old men sitting at the bar with a pint of beer, and I think there's something in the traditional music which everybody connects with. We went to America recently, and it, it seemed to connect in America just as well as it connects over here, fortunately for us. Um, there's something in the traditional sort of Celtic sound. Distant cousin to the sort of Appalachian music or bluegrass, as well as then the strong tradition of sort of, yeah, as Dan said, Celtic and Irish music that they sort of champion over there. So, yeah, really sort of fitted in. We're about fun, and everybody wants to have a bit of fun, don't they? So. <laughs> side.